cats at play. I love this sign over here. Cat crossing. Well, if we're talking about cats, we have to be here at one of our favorite thrift stores that supports animals. And we had an interesting haul today. Meow. Larry Ferrari at the Oregon. Wow. Who remembers Larry Ferrari on a Sunday, right? On television. Hello. Hey, hey, Pickers, Mighty Mike. Picking Weeds Vintage. How are you? Hi. We're gonna make this a short video. This is a haul video from the thrift store and we spent $9.50, so let's get right to it. All right, we got this fish, and he's made out of metal. So it's the, um, the, the thin metal that, it's actually pretty heavy, and then they stretch it. Let's see if we can get a better look over here against the yellow, right? Well, none of that is worth looking very good. How about over here? But it was only three dollars and you know what i like i have a soft spot for nautical i just i like nautical stuff look at that that looks really really nice now can we see that the thing is he is you can see his back fins there he needs we need to get some spray paint. And I'm not the handiest person. I'm no Martha Stewart. But I thought for $3, we can definitely give him a fresh coat of paint. And we can even change the eye color if we wanted to. I kind of like the yellow. And the blue looks pretty good. Is it a bluefin tuna, perhaps? <laughs> if you grew up in the Delaware Valley, I mean, any tri-state area, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware... Uh, Philadelphia suburbs, Philly, and even where I grew up in Berks County, you knew Larry Ferrari, and this is a great album, Larry Ferrari at the Oregon Most Requested TV Favorites, and I love there that it has the old television, you know, there's the channel changer, but yes, he was always on a Sunday, a Sunday morning, like late morning, about 10 o'clock, 10.30, on Channel 6 WPVI TV in Philadelphia. And this is just a great regional uh, favorite. I don't know how it would do on eBay. I guess maybe it would do okay. I'm not a big, uh, I'm not crazy on uh, listing records, especially albums, but I think he would do well on Facebook. And I love this here down here. It says distributed by Shore Music and Record Company, P.O. Box 94 and Broomall. Pennsylvania. Broomall is a suburb of Philadelphia. And I just think this is a really, really cool for one dollar. This is a great piece of local history, regional history. I checked out the vinyl. It looks in really good shape. And the um, actual, see the record there? Looks in really nice shape. And also, this has nice bones. I don't see any, um, nothing too major on the actual, you know, album itself. The cardboard looks in really good shape, but yeah, I mean, for a dollar, and I think we might even be able to get $10 out of it. It just, it looks cool. And sometimes the album cover is what sells albums. People use them for a display. It would make a great local display, like a bar or a restaurant in Philadelphia that had all local you know, TV, regional TV people like Sally Starr or Captain Noah, Captain Kangaroo, uh, Chief Halftown, Eddie Albert. You know what I mean? Remember Creature Double Feature? Remember Dr. Shock? All those local TV people from Philadelphia. I like it. The interesting thing, too, about Larry Ferrari at the Oregon, you know, when I watched him as a boy in the 70s, and early 80s as a teenager, he was already middle-aged. And in this photograph, this picture on the album, he's young, he's like in his 20s. So it was really, it caught my attention. Like I knew the name right away, Larry Ferrari, 
But I was like, that doesn't look like him. I remember the middle-aged guy. And um, again, that even, I was like, wow, I, I, you know, that makes it cooler because this is like early in his career. And I think this is a really good score for a dollar. Next up, we have a Tupperware tower. And we got it for just a dollar. And these are little compartments. Um, they're just small, but they, they make a whole tower. And you can just put them on top of each other, and that's how they go. Just like that. You know, and I just saw a video the other day. I was watching Taco Stacks, and he was saying that his Tupperware stuff just doesn't sell at all. We've sold some on eBay. We don't do very well at the flea with Tupperware, but this is light. It's easy to ship, and there are people out there, they just love stuff from the 60s, from the 70s, and this is vintage Tupperware. You can see it's not even staying together here because I didn't have it pushed all the way down. It wasn't secure, wasn't locked in, but... Um, I don't know. I think this one might do well on eBay. Again, we only paid a dollar for it, and we can probably flip it for maybe $10 or $12, maybe $15, depending. We'll have to take a look and see how they're doing online. Also, we got these really cool glasses. Got a glass set, and this is a very heavy glass set. It doesn't, it looks like it's a retro style, but it doesn't look to be retro. It could be. I'm not sure. I'm not a glass expert. Um, George the Antique Nomad probably would have more details on that, but we got a, five of them and they were a quarter each. So we paid a dollar twenty-five, and I think those will do well, um, probably at the flea. Also, speaking of drinkware, how many of you remember the wagon train pilgrimage? I was a boy in 1976. We were so excited. The encampment that all 50 states represented, and each state had their own wagon. And I remember as a boy thinking, wow, the one from Hawaii and Alaska, they came a very long way, but they had a procession and it was really, really neat to see, you know, the encampment was right below where we lived. And this is the Bicentennial Wagon Train Pilgrimage to Pennsylvania, it came right through Berks County. And then on the back, it says beer. I have a few good reasons for drinking and one has just entered my head. If a man can't drink, when he is living, how the heck can he be, how can he drink when he is dead? Well, I screwed that one up, but anyways, it's a family show. So, um, yeah, I thought this bison town, I didn't even read <laughs> the back of it, but um, I have a few good reasons for drinking, and one has just entered my head. If a man can't drink when he is living, how the heck can he drink when he is dead? All right, very good, whatever. And then finally, we have... Red Man Chewing Tobacco. You know what? Certain tins, they just look really cool. And the artwork is really cool. And uh, this is one of those that kind of spoke to me. It's pretty big tin. And it says here, warning, this product may cause gum disease and tooth loss. I don't know. I just The graphics were really good. The artwork is really good. And it says the Flavor of America Limited Edition 1990. It's not that old. We don't really buy a whole lot of tobacco stuff, but again, the artwork is what sold it for me. All right, so again, I said a real quick video, and then we only spent $9.50. I think we'll definitely get that. And then some nice little haul here from our local favorite thrift store that supports animals. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for your support of Pickin' Weeds Vintage. We couldn't do this without your help. I'm Mighty Mike. Happy picking, everybody.